Hey, hey, hello, I'm Kirokan, also known as Corvus Konix, and welcome to Jack, yet another Crowcast, where I pick a game, I play it for a week, and then I talk about it. This week's game is The Ice Climber, it's a black box game that was released in 1985, developed by Nintendo's R&D 1 and published by Nintendo, and also there will be spoilers up ahead just so you know, but first a little backstory. So I remember playing this game at a friend's house, and we didn't make it all that far because, well, we were kids. So I have some fond memories of this game, and uh, yeah, let's see if it holds up today. So at the start of the game you can pick between either one or two players, and you can also select the levels, and, or in this case, mountains to climb. So if you play two players, the blue ice climber, which by default is called Popo, I think he's a guy, and the uh, red climber or pink, which is called Nana. You jump with the A button, and you use the hammer with the B button, and you start with three lives. And this game is like um, the classic Super Mario Bros, like the mini game where you can like leave the screen on the left side and you appear on the right. So the whole game plan of Ice Climbers is to reach the top and grab a bird, <laughs> uh, more or less. So you do this by going through segments of the level. So you break the bottom of one layer, if that makes sense, and you jump up to the next one and start hammering on to the next um, plane. But the problem is, there are multiple problems, I guess. The The jumping mechanic feels a bit weird, and uh, sometimes you jump on a platform so you, f you like fall right through for some reason. It's very finicky, but once you get down to jumping, it's it gets a little bit easier. And also on these stages are typical enemies, like white, small, hairy dudes, for lack of explaining. They make like small bridges with ice, and fill in the gaps, I mean, that you break. And there's some polar bears later on in the game, like really weird with sunglasses. And uh, there are other like smaller birds. I, I should not, not actually call them birds. They're actually more like pterodactyls, like dinosaur uh, <laughs> birds, I guess. So at the top there is this one pterodactyl bird and at the bottom or throughout the stage there are these annoying smaller ones that fly around and try to uh, make short work of you. So right before you reach the top of the first level there is a bonus game. So you grab some eggplants in this case, like a, like, I don't know, it's a fruit or like a vegetable, whatever, but you try to platform, jumping as uh, irritating as it is, and you get extra points for like the eggplants, and if you reach the top, you have a small chance of grabbing the bird, you get some extra points for that. I don't know why you are supposed to grab a bird, maybe he stole your eggplants or whatnot, but yeah, you have 40 seconds to do this, and it's not impossible, but with the jumping, it's kind of frustrating. It's That's one of the only complaints I have about the game, that's the jumping, because it, it's weird, floaty, and you fall through platforms that you, you know, they should be solid. I don't know about the game mechanics of that, but a platformer needs to have a good jump. That's the easy way to put it. And it doesn't really matter if you beat the bonus game or not, you, you don't have to participate at all. Once you get to the bonus area, you can just walk off the edge and you will immediately get the score and pass on to the next mountain and the second mountain has enemies that fills in the gaps in the in like the surfaces as i said before and, and if you hit them they do this uh, cute little uh, dance out of the screen you hit them with the mallet and they kind of daze get dazed and they kind of <laughs> wander off the stage and at the bonus stage of this level once you almost reach the top is uh, you collect carrots or chili it's hard to see at like the the sprite work what it actually is or was and then you grab the bird at the top of the mountain if you can manage within the the time frame. And this level also introduced the falling ice spikes. So you want to avoid those because those are instant deaths. Instantaneous deaths. So even later in the game you're introduced to conveyor belts and ice physics. Uh, for a game called Ice Climbers I wasn't expecting anything else. But ice physics are, uh, in my opinion, never welcome in a game. Because... <laughs> they're slippery and annoying <laughs> so this game is more or less rinse and repeat so this was originally an arcade so I guess there were like an like an early arcade cabinet before it came to the Nintendo Entertainment System so I'm just gonna summarize the the gameplay for the next mm, for a couple of levels on so mountain number four has pickles as the bonus fruit or uh, vegetable mountain five has corn Mountain 6 has some really frustrating jumps, and the special bonus uh, <laughs> vegetable is leek. Uh, Mountain 7 has uh, 
jack-o'-lanterns or what they call like pumpkins jack-o'-lanterns as uh, the vegetable mountain eight has what looks like salad like cabbages i guess mountain nine introduced the polar bear with the glasses and once they jump and this is a mechanic where they raise the like the bottom of the stage so if you are at the bottom of the stage you instant die if the polar bear jumps because that's how real polar bear physics work in ice climbers i guess and the bonus fruit or vegetable is potato or potatoes at mountain 10 they have the they have these moving platforms and they go really really fast in the end at the beginning of the game things that move or are hard to like scale or like well they're not moving so fast but at the end of the game like at like mountain 30 or i don't know how 32 maybe everything is just crazy and that's like the last stage uh it's impossible with the jumping mechanic and everything so gameplay help the ice climber or ice climbers popo and nana get to the top of the mountain and take back the fruit or vegetables from the the bird <laughs> I, I guess that's the plot point i haven't read the manual control the a button jumps the b button uses the hammer or mallet the d-pad moves the climber or climbers around and the start button pauses graphics simple black backgrounds and once you get to like the top of the mountain becomes like a starry sky which is a nice little detail nice little touch and as i say with like um most nintendo games you know exactly what you're looking at and the colors are actually very vibrant it's a very good color palette so it's aesthetically pleasing to look at it looks good on tv <laughs> i guess that's what i'm trying to say sound of music akito Nakasuko made the music for this game and uh, it has like one track that is very I guess jazzy I don't know where it's from but it's uh, it's worth a listen I guess so I mean it's very simple simple music easter egg secrets and glitches I couldn't find any glitches by my own or on the web so there will be none today so in conclusion I wrote yes try it at least I felt very nostalgic playing this game this week, J just because I played this with my friends back in the days and uh, had fond memories of it. I uh, forgotten about the bad jumping mechanics and once you talk about a platformer, when you, you actually need to scale a, a mountain by jumping and when the jumping is weird and you clip through platforms and stuff, it's not fun in the end. And also some enemies like they bridge the gaps that you made with the mallet and some platforms are moving while you try to pick away at the <laughs> oh no it's just one of those things where in the later levels it gets so hard and frustrating and there's nothing you can do about it you just gotta learn how to make the jumps and you know just be patient i guess and sometimes you don't have that but it's also an arcade game so it eats quarters and um, at least back in the day in the arcades i guess so that's how you get out of you know a lot of gameplay out of a game you make it into a, a level thing and you repeat the patterns and after a while or after a while you kind of realize it's more or less the same thing things speed up things get harder but that's pretty much it it's not a bad game per se besides the jumping otherwise you know it's a good game so yeah anyway thanks for listening and watching and take care